Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip I want to talk about a really serious topic in Unity which is called Z fighting or Z fighting. For example, we have two objects and they are exactly in the same location but uh, you know the distance between them is too low or too small so you prefer to sh see the object A but you will see object B at the same time okay uh, let me show you over here let's create a simple uh, new scene All right, and over here create uh, a quad icon uh, object A. Okay, and this is object A, and a duplicate. This is object B, and here let's create a material for mat A. And mat B. Okay, for example, mat A is uh, yellow and mat B is red. And drag and drop over here and drag and drop over here. Okay, if we make them bigger and for example this is B look at this I'm talking about this uh, I want to talk how we can uh, solve these kinds of problems first the uh, you know the uh, the first solution is they have to be in a different place even for example if the object a and b uh, x and z uh, are the same uh, x and y okay we should change the z even 0 0.00011 one, one unit for example something like uh, this or this look at this they have a really short distance and it fixed the issue as you can see there is no problem but if you uh, if you want to keep them in the same location I propose to change the unit something like this they are exactly in the same location but it fixed the issue because uh, honestly, the un uh, the quality and graphic renderer of the Unity cannot separate these objects from each other, especially if we don't have a powerful device for our platform. For example, uh, maybe it's not going to be a problem for uh, PC, but for mobile phones or VR headsets, it's a serious problem for Quest 2. Uh, I'm facing with this problem personally uh, so the first solution is uh, fixing uh, the uh, you know change of the location of uh, especially uh, unit Z or maybe Y or X it doesn't matter what matter is we should ch uh, add a distance between two objects another solution is uh, when we put a main camera, uh, this solution is for that time that uh, the camera has a far distance from the objects, for example, something like this, or maybe even more far. Okay, the best solution for optimizing this uh, issue is uh, keep the far parameter of clipping plans for example 2000 and keep this guy the near is Im more important honestly uh, more than 0 
or even um, how can I say it, it's uh, it has to be uh, more than 0 0.1 or 0. Uh, something like this it has to be more than 0 0.09 something like this or this or even two or three it depends on your uh, project but it's better to be uh, you know a good number in this range 0 0.1 or more and uh, remember uh, if we do the same thing like changing the Z parameters but maybe in, uh, in Quest or mobile phone sometimes happens uh, in, we are still having this problem uh, this problem okay even if they have a uh, distance from each other it is coming from the performance of your level because honestly unfortunately uh, uh, the rendering process in unity especially for low performance devices needs ram and CPU okay if your level is heavy uh, it cannot separate these objects from each other and you will have glitching something like this even between two objects that they have distance from each other they have a close gap from each other so consider that uh, changing the these units of camera and also optimizing the whole scene helps you to fix this problem another solution for fixing this problem is using static badge and dynamic badge for example if the objects your objects both of them object a and b they are static and uh, make them static really static not just uh, consider it as a static and also go to the edit uh, project settings and over here we have static batching and dynamic batching if you use these two techniques make sure they are checked uh, if you use these um, two techniques static batching and dynamic batching it helps uh, you to fix this problem and fixing the rendering problem if your objects are not static they are moving so you need to assure that you check on uh, dynamic batching another solution to fix this issue is uh, for example, we want to see object A, yellow, uh, top of the object B, okay? Uh, in the material side, it doesn't matter what is the kind of shader. What matters is, here, we have render queue, okay? Even for, look at this, I don't know, uh, any kind of uh, materials, you will see render queue. So, it is the same for everything. Uh, assure that uh, ensure that uh, render queue for the object top uh, it has to be you know higher number and the object at the bottom at the behind needs to be something like even one nine 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 something like this it helps you uh, to introduce which object has the highest priority to the you know renderer uh, core and uh, assure that okay uh, with this uh, with these steps uh, I can uh, understand which object have to uh, has to be rendered uh, at the first okay I hope these solutions will be helpful for you. Don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR, and XR. Subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye-bye.